channel. My name's Faye, if you don't know who I am, hello and welcome. Today I'm doing a video, a best friend gift guide of little things you can get your best friend on their birthday. This is actually inspired by my friend Bex because her birthday is coming up soon. But by the time I post this, it'll obviously be over because I don't want to spoil what I'm getting her. That was my door shutting there. <laughs> So basically, I'm gonna show you a few bits and pieces I have got her and some other stuff that I have not got her, but they are just in my gift guide. The first of which is this little surprise box kit. And it's from, I think it's from Paper Chase. Yes, it is from Paper Chase, but it's Ginger Ray, which is where I get all my decorations from. So I've never actually used this, but basically, I think it pops out with, yeah, bunting and confetti. So it's like, happy birthday. So I think they're super cute idea. I just love them and think they're really sweet. The next thing is if you're gonna use a big box and you wanna put lots of stuff in it, this is Happy Birthday to You and it's musical. So it does have a little sticker on the side. And yeah, that's it. So you obviously close it and as soon as you open it, it starts to play happy birthday to you, which I think is brilliant, I love it. So those are my little boxes, I have a couple of those. Um, the next thing I always give to someone on their birthday is a birthday pin. So I have a couple of these ones that say birthday girl, I love those. I have this one that says, mm, it's my birthday. I have a couple of those in Jeff. I have a couple of these ones that are It's All About Me and it's a birthday cake one. And then I have this like rainbowy one that says It's My Birthday, which I love. I'm a big fan of pins, so I keep them all in my little box, but I just love them so much. The next thing I always seem to be buying people is little like ceramic dishes. I just think they're such nice gifts. I get them. Where do I get East of India, I think the shop's called. East of India is where I get them from, and they're normally not overly expensive. They can range anywhere from like three to eight pounds, um, but they're just always so pretty. Like I have a little moon dish that says love you to the moon and back. I have a wedding one for an upcoming wedding I have. And then I love this one. Life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass, it's about dancing in the rain. I also have that pegged for someone as well for their birthday. So I just have so many of them, I love them. They also do Christmas decorations. They were in my Christmas gift guide as well. So my last gift guide, I think I said these as well, my Christmas gift guide, and I will always say them. Little card holders, I think they're the best. I always have them on sale in places. I have these neon card holders, the green and yellow one, and then I also have this really nice one, and it is a like leopard print, but it's orange and purple. So I always love those, but I think they make such cute like little stocking fillers for gifts. The next thing I love giving, it's such a random thing, is coasters. So I always find you can get like super cute coasters. This one says one friend can change your whole life. This one says the drinks were on me. I just think they make really nice like gifts. It would be such a cute idea to do like a, a drinks gift. So like maybe for your friend if they like alcohol, even if they don't know they're like a Starbucks fan or something, you can get them like coffee, um, wrap it all up in like these selfie and wrappers. And you can do the same for alcohol, like put a nice glass in it, get a bottle of bubbly, maybe some wee like drink things, like you know those things you put in your drinks, like glittery things, and then a coaster as well. And it just makes a nice gift, it's wee extra things. I just love them. The next thing I love, and I always end up giving them to friends, is this. It is a Polaroid picture frame, but it is all glittery and sparkly. And it's super nice if you do have a Polaroid camera yourself to take a picture on the down low and then pop it in here and give it as the gift. The next thing I love is key rings. I'm a big fan of key rings, so this is a little heart mirror. It is from, I think it's Skinny Dip, yep, Skinny Dip. And I love it, I haven't picked this out for anybody yet, so I will give it to someone when I need a gift. I just think it's super cute, like I love it. I find myself always buying things for myself and then going, no fine, don't need that. Like don't buy it, and then I'm like, but it would make a lovely gift, so I get it for someone else. I have this, I got myself one, and it's a fake like Dior pink strap. This one is a friends one, so it has pizza on it, the little door frame, it says friends, it has the couch, and it is for Bex, because she loves friends. So yes, this is that little gift. The next thing that's super cute is this. I do not remember where I got this, Etsy. So this is from a shop, Piggly and Bumble, from Etsy, and it's it's actually a little matchbox. It says friends are like stars, and then I'm pretty sure, I don't remember what is in the inside, but I'm pretty sure on the inside it says like, 
you can't always see them but you know they're always there so I'm like that's really sweet so I think the things like that are really cute and simple and cheap as well so they're totally affordable the next thing I always try to get my friends is a bath bomb and I have now found a place that does happy birthday bath bombs and it's on Etsy as well how cute is that like just a regular bath bomb a birthday bath bomb I love it these are actually so cute. I got them off Etsy and these are actually for Bex and they're little earrings and they actually, let me show you a close up of them. So they're little flowers in the earrings and they're forget-me-nots because I just thought they were so cute. I'm gonna write a little note and be like, I can't forget you. But little forget-me-nots, I just think things like that are really sweet and cute and they mean a lot to people. The next thing I got was a super cute notepad. It is a check off list and my friend Bex owns a shop called Luna. I'll link it below so you can go check it out. I'm constantly buying scrunchies. But this basically says taking care of business and it's a check pad notebook. So she'll be able to write her little business notes on it. But I always think little notepads are great presents for people as well. Next up are these little pins. And I actually have a couple of them. So I got, I got one myself and one for a friend. And then I got these two pins. So basically they were very cheap. They were from Etsy. But they're little travel pins that are like tickets. And I just think they're so cute. Like these are Adventure Airways, which I think is super cute. I just thought they're super cute. So the next thing I have is actually really sweet. I seen it on Etsy and was just like, I'm in love with this. And it is a little plaque. It just hangs up and says, I'm so thankful, grateful, blessed to have a friend like you. But it's like a ceramic one. And it's just really sweet, like the writing's all different and the seller put it in this nice um, tissue paper so I don't have to rewrap it, which is nice. Um, lots of places on Etsy will do that, which is really thoughtful. So it is already pre-wrapped, ready to go. The next thing is I got this frame of Amazon and I got this really lovely print and I think prints are so nice. You can always get like ones that are like personalised but this one is like a floating frame which I love so it just sits there like that which is really, I really love the frame. And it says Bestie Nine, a friend who you click with on every level imaginable, a person you can talk, laugh and cry with on both the good and the bad days, someone who you can't imagine your life without. I'm like that's really sweet just to have sitting and then it's also their choice if they want to take it out and put a picture of you in or a picture of whoever in they can do it it's totally practical so even if they don't want to have a print in their house then it's still a practical gift and the last thing I have started doing I've only started doing it this year because I invested in a helium tank which I'm gonna have to buy another one of because I'm obsessed it's a balloon so this is a cute happy birthday balloon so I will blow it up and bring it as well. I just think it ties it together because who doesn't want a birthday balloon on their birthday? Everybody does. So that is my little gift guide. Obviously I always sprinkle a little bit of confetti in the bag and some ribbon and yeah, I love giving gifts so much. So basically that's just a little gift guide of things that I, like, I give to my best friends and my friends on their birthdays and I tend to rather than buying someone one big thing, I'd rather give loads of little gifts that mean a lot than one like big expensive gift that's practical. <laughs> but yeah, basically I, I love doing gifts. I just, it's a big part of my life. I love spoiling people. And yeah, I'm just so excited to give these gifts to Beth. I hope she likes them. For her, I've got like the frame, the balloon, the notepad, a pin. Um, she has a wee coaster. The bath bomb, it's just all little bits and pieces. She has another couple things that I wouldn't necessarily give to other people. So that's why I've not put them in the gift guide. But yeah, super exciting. And I hope she has a fabulous birthday and loves all of her little gifts from me. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I gave you a few ideas. Christmas is literally around the corner, guys. It's like September, October, November, December. Like four months away. What? See, this time last year I had all my Christmas shopping done. It's slightly stressing me that I don't. I have a couple of things bought, so like I'm a little bit ahead of myself. But it's September now, and Christmas is around the corner. I will do a gift guide when it comes to Christmas, so look out for that. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any other little things you always tend to buy for your friends or family, let me know. I'm always looking for new ideas for presents. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Give it a massive thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you're not already, and have a good day. Bye.